Hey guys, what's up? This is a short video because I kinda need your help with something. Yesterday night while working, I was randomly surfing the web and I found something, a very good offer that I, I have a hard time declining. So I really need your help for this decision. As you can see, I found this offer online. They sell the Canon EOS R body, in including the EF2RF adapter for only 1,599 Swiss francs. That's including taxes. That's in dollars, this would be $1,627, including taxes. And that's an insane price. It was so expensive just one year ago and now I can get it for 1,599 francs. If you've been attentive, you've probably noticed that it's limited to only 50 pieces, but I actually already bought one. Well, I just reserved one by purchasing it with choosing paying at pickup so it's already reserved for me in this store well in the pickup store and the thing is that i can actually sell my nikon z6 only the body for the same price of this camera i've even made some calculations some research and this is the price these are the prices that i can get well if i sell everything together it's not much but selling everything separately i can make 2431 francs that's including the xqd card the f2c adapter and the kit lens and the body everything sold separately now my problem obviously is is it worth it i'm not sure because there are obviously some upsides and some downsides to the canon esr compared to the nikon c6 the main downside is that the canon esr has a big crop when using 4k footage but as i've noticed specifically for youtube it doesn't really matter if i'm recording 4k or 1080p so that's not really a big choice that i've got someone just got home but she has to wait but at least i get with the canon esr i do get a flip screen which is one of the biggest downsides of the nikon c6 and the other thing is that it uses SD cards instead of XQD cards. That's like comparing 250 gigabytes for $350 compared to $80 for a good SD card. They go even down as low as $40. And those were like two biggest downsides of the Nikon Z6, the, that it doesn't have a flip screen and that it uses XQD cards. So I'm posting this and I hope that you can help me make this decision. Thank you very much and see you next time.